we sabotage ourselves because we're emotionally triggered. So what do you do when you're emotionally triggered? When someone's pushed your buttons and all of a sudden your pain body and your emotional memories and oh, your trauma starts coming up and blah, and you just like go, ah, fuck this. And I'm, you know, we start getting out of control. Then you're going to go into comfort eating. You might eat to commiserate because you're feeling sad, right? So you're using it to suppress uncomfortable feelings. You might eat because you're angry and anger may not be safe to express in a healthy way, or you may not have been raised in an environment where, where you were taught skills to actually healthily express anger. So you might shove them down and eat them down. Uh, you might also um, kind of eat every time you're stressed. <laughs> welcome to the modern world of COVID. Like, welcome to the modern world, right? Like, everyone's generally stressed about something you don't know what other people are going through you just don't know you don't get to see what other people are going through because everyone's instagram ready and everything's picture freaking perfect and you know i looked terrible this morning like derelict this this the peonies are beautiful this is you know this isn't me when i wake up in the morning this isn't me when i'm having a shit day we all have bad days, but we're wired into this belief system that, oh, it's only available, success is only available to them or their life's so together and blah, blah, blah. Everyone's telling, you know, everyone's suffering their own journey in a way that you know nothing about and you just make presumptions. So don't presume. What I know to be true is that we're all going through suffering. We're all going through chronic stress in our own ways. We haven't got it all figured out or we'd be Buddhas and enlightened souls and wouldn't be here. This is earth school. We're on a journey of transformation. We're literally on that journey. So we eat to shove down feelings of guilt and shame. We eat because we're feeling unsafe, we're because we're feeling uncertain. We eat to feel comfortable. We eat because it's something that's reliable and predictable. We eat because food has become our friend. There's so many different ways that emotional eating is there. But here's the thing to understand. You're eating to fill needs. You're eating to fill emotional needs. 